autofocus in the Sony and the Canon systems are admittedly just easier to use. It's been well reported. They're just easier to use. You don't have to go through so many settings and figure out the settings so many times. Get just right for the right scene, get the right sort of mode and all that. You don't have to do um, so much thinking perhaps. Um, if you're using a uh, modern Canon EOS R5 or 6 uh, or, or a Sony. But when it comes to the Nikon, I think it's as good. Especially the Z6 II and the Z6 VII, they're as good. But I think you need we need to think a little more, figure the system out a bit more. I think we need to put in a little bit of more thinking and effort, that's all. And a lot of people are perhaps just pretty pissed that they have to think a little bit more. I'm not uh, saying that negatively. Of course, you want more convenience, more ease with better technology with uh, as time progresses. But if you want to get the best out of a Nikon Z2 cameras, you sort of need to need to you need to know this. You have these modes, right? You have uh, autofocus, uh, continuous, AFS, and manual focus, and you can set all of them um, through the I, by pressing the I button. You can set it to the I button, and then sort of take a few steps and then set them according to your uh, convenience but what i'm going to tell you right now is the is the fastest way to get your preferred uh, autofocus mode ergonomics is everything so basically if you see the best way to use the autofocus if if i'm able to sort of activate the autofocus by pressing one of these buttons and then if i'm being able to just use my thumb very easily so what you have to do is basically use the movie record button for uh, focus mode for setting focus so what you have to do is you go to custom settings menu and then go to controls F then go to custom controls select your movie record button and press on it select focus mode slash if area mode what it allows us to do is that it 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 allows you to just press this movie button with this with your index finger and use the front dial and the back dial dial to sort of move between different focus modes. Now, when you first do that, you will see that when you're using the uh, back dial by pressing the movie mode, you're changing between AFC and AFS and manual focus. And you're likely to be in AFC most of the time. What you need to move between is essentially uh, wide L, wide L of the human uh, face and eye detection on, uh, wide L with the Animal face and eye detection on, wide S, um, single point focus, or maybe the wide area, those things. So it's just easier if you're able to sort of use your thumb to move between those things that you're likely to change from and to more often than to sort of uh, use the thumb to change from AFC to AFS because you're going to change from AFC to AFS far less often. So the way to do that is you go to, again, go to um, F controls and come down to, you go to controls and then come down to F5, customize command dials and then go to change men slash sub. So it allows you to change uh, the main dial and sub dials functions. Then you go to autofocus setting, which is usually set to off. You just switch it, switch it on. And then you're done. Now you can just press the movie record button and move between different focus modes using the using a thumb. Beautiful. Now the trick is to make it easier further. How do you do that? Now one of the new additions in the Z62 and the Z72 is use of that wide L area, that box, uh, to sort of isolate one face or one person out of the crowd and focus to be able to focus on that person uh, and to be specific about it so what it does is that when you have this um square box on a person's face it's going to ignore everyone else it's going to only find a face or an eye within that box so it's very it's very efficient it makes in that mode this camera is as good as any camera out there um so so the point the problem that i faced is that when you're using that you know when you're using that that box the person you're trying to shoot could be moving from side to side could be changing position now the difficult thing is if you want to keep the frame same 
if you don't want to sort of move the camera according to the movement of your subject and ensure that the box is still on that on that person if you do not want to move the camera according to the movement of the person on which you want to set the box then you'll have to sort of use the joystick to move around the uh, that white l area box and and ensure that the box is on that person's face the problem with that is that you have probably you're probably using a on uh, button as a for for back button focusing and you have to change between the a fun button to focus and the joystick to move the box around now when you're shooting fast this movement can be very difficult to uh, manage it's definitely slower than if you have to use just one button and uh, well with time you may be able to sort of you know build your muscle memory and it may become easier but well for every one of us a new camera we want to sort of do a good job with it from uh, day one so i figured what if i just use the the joystick both to move the box around and also to focus so what i did was i went to the menu i went to again custom setting menu to controls i went and within custom controls, I was looking for sub selector. Now the joystick is actually called sub selector, right? And what is sub selector center? Basically, it, it's what happens when you press the joystick. What happens when you press the joystick, right? And what you do is you basically press on it, find a on button and set it to a on. What that means is now your joystick is a second back button focus. So the good thing about it is that you're just going to move the focus and I'm going to show you a, a sort of test video here. You just uh, move the box around from left to right or up or down and keep focusing with a single finger with just your thumb. And this makes the whole process so much more efficient. And I talked about how uh, making the focusing business easy for you can be uh, really can really up your efficiency level and uh, make the whole experience of shooting with this camera uh, much better i think these two things are the ways to go and the moment you're um, using this wide area mode with the face uh, or eye detection mode on i think you should just uh, set the the I, I think you should only use the joystick both to move the box around and and to focus and otherwise you should use the movie record button to move from um and use the thumb here to move move between different sort of modes it's going to drastically you know increase the pace with which you shoot the pace with which you uh, you know grab onto your subject uh, i think it's very convenient and of course and of course set your tracker on the f and one button i hope you know how to do that uh the, the way to do is that you again go to controls go to custom controls Find the F and one button and set it to subject tracking. Now, very simple and easy. So you just press on it. The subject tracking is activated. Press on it again. It's gone. Press on it. Activated. Right. Yellow means it's sort of trying to, yeah, it's trying to grab onto something. Press on it. It's gone. So with these three things set, you're good to go. This Z62 is as good as any camera out there at least in terms of efficiency and ease of use and you just have to practically use three fingers you know this for the fn1 button this to press on the movie record button and this to sort of move between different focus points this also to use the joystick as both as a back button focuser and a sort of a joystick so there you go i hope you find this very useful and hope you really set your camera accordingly and um, kindly subscribe only 600 people i would like to get it i like to reach at least a thousand in the next two months so help us out thank you guys see you soon